My name is Jack and I'll be your bartender for this evening. So I show you how to make drinks that will fuck up your life. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Experience Bar, where we're turning video games into cocktails. My name is Jack and I'll be your bartender this evening as I show you how to make a drink to help you escape this capitalist nightmare that we find ourselves in. Zero G Brew from the Outer Worlds. Let's get started. Cool, so uh, we're going to start with our Zero G Brew. So for that, you're going to need a beer. Thanks for joining me, I've been Jack Stone. This is, no, I'm fucking with you guys. Okay, right, so Zero G Brew, funnily enough, actually exists in real life. Uh, it was a limited time run from uh, the Bottle Logic in collaboration with Obsidian for the release of The Outer Worlds. It was a 4.5% IPA and it was apparently very good. But here's the problem. The Zero G Brew in the game is apparently made in space and beer made in space ends up quite different to the stuff made on Earth. Here's what I mean. According to NASA, NASA, who did a study on this, they found that any beer made in space in a zero gravity environment ends up being a lot stronger than that made on Earth, like two to three times as strong. It's something to do with the yeast and the sugar being able to get at each other a lot more easily. I'll leave the, a link to the study down below if you're interested in that kind of thing. Uh, so instead of the 4.5% one, we are adapting our version of Zero G Brew to be a little bit stronger, specifically, Twice as strong. This is about a 8.5% beer called Hop Zombie. It's a double IPA from Epic Brewing here in New Zealand. So if you've ever been here, come and try this one. It's really good or any of the Epic beers. And it's also a lot easier to get than the really, really high strength ones like the 12 to 13% and it works for this cocktail. Speaking of this cocktail, here's the thing. Double IPAs tend to be uh, extremely bitter and it puts most people off. So we're gonna be adding a couple of ingredients to make a zero G cocktail to make it more palatable for the average colonist. For this, you are going to need one ounce of Aperol. This is gonna add some lovely orange flavors, which is going to bring out the uh, fruitiness of the IPA and ease back on the bitterness that comes with double hopping an IPA. For the same reason, we're gonna be adding half an ounce of cassis, creme de cassis, that is, um, and that's gonna give us uh, some dark berry notes, whereas with, with the uh, Aperol, we've got the orange covered. Lastly, we're gonna add half an ounce of Kahlua, coffee liqueur. That's gonna give us those deep, dark base notes uh, that will kind of round everything off and still add a little bit more sweetness. Every single one of these liqueurs that we're adding, a little bit more sweetness every time. Half an ounce of that. And of course, last of all, we've got our actual Zero G brew. So crack your boy open. And I'll tell you this, guys, I'm very, very bad at pouring beer. So this is probably gonna have quite a bit of a head on it. So uh, please don't judge me if that's the case. Oh, that actually came out okay. Look at that. And also the Aperol has the added effect of giving it that nice kind of reddish amber color. Zero G Brew in the game comes in like a red bottle. I don't know if it's the actual bottle that that's, it's that color or the, uh, the alcohol inside is red. Hey, it looks the part. But we are missing one little thing. The mascot. Uh, Zero G Brew is from Space's Choice and you don't have uh, Space's Choice without Moon Man. So one sec. There we go, he goes on there. And then he goes on here. And there we go. There's our handsome boy. Stay. And there he is. It's not the right choice. It's Spacer's choice. We'll get you mostly drunk at half the price. Spacer's choice. And so there you have it, the Zero G cocktail based on the Zero G brew. But that's enough talking about it, let's get to drinking it. And uh, I'd like to say thank you to all our patrons who make these drinks happen, in particular uh, Brit Hohn, Hohen, or Hon, it's H-O-H-N. I don't know how to pronounce it and I'm really sorry about that. Let me know if you're listening how I'm supposed to say it in the comments below. Until then, thanks for the drink. Cheers. Ah, yeah. Cool, so the Zero G cocktail has kind of that bitterness from the IPA, but it's just eased back a little bit. Uh, like I said, you get the orange and the coffee and the berry flavors, a lot fruitier. It feels like a juicier 
IPA. Do keep in mind that beers have lots of different flavor profiles. Not every beer is gonna taste like Hop Zombie, for example. Uh, so you may have to test this a couple of times with the high proof beers. But hey, that's a good excuse to uh, keep on drinking good drinks, right? So if you don't like double hopped IPAs and you've been put off it with bitters, try adding a couple of these ingredients to it. You may find that you like it quite a lot. But yeah, that's it. That's the Zero G cocktail from the Outer Worlds based on the Zero G brew. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I've been Jack Stone. This has been Experience Bar. Um, we're creating new content every couple of weeks. So if you've got a suggestion for a game or a cocktail you want to see made, let me know in the comments below. Join us on Discord and Reddit and Twitter and Facebook and all of the other socials. If you're there, we're probably there as well. And if you want to get access to some pretty cool stuff, like uh, some extra recipe books, or you want to just support the show, uh, I do encourage you to head over to our Patreon, which is everything's linked below. You know how this works. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in a couple of weeks, but until then, cheers.